Hello everyone, my name is Drew. Today I found out about something that's kind of exciting. Uh, it's a new operating system, apparently from Google. But what's exciting about it is, it's not like Android or Chrome OS. This one is actually an operating system built from the ground up. In other words, it's not built on Linux, the Linux kernel like Android and Chrome OS. So I'm at the page here now, the GitHub repository page for the Fuchsia project. And at the moment, details are kind of trickling in. We're not being given that much information, but we can actually download or clone uh, various repositories and actually uh, run the kernel for Fuchsia uh, in Quick Emulator. So this is the, uh, the main page for the Fuchsia project. It's the first link in the description below. And if we click on Magenta, we'll, we're taken to the second tab here. And Magenta is uh, it has a kernel, has core drivers, and a few services. It's very, very simple at the moment. Once we get it up and running, after we successfully compile everything, the only thing that we can really do is run some tests to see if everything passes. So what I need to do is to do a uh, git clone. And I'm going to clone the Magenta uh, git. Cloning into Magenta. Okay, so it's downloading this from uh, GitHub. Okay, so now that we, we have that, I'm going to do a quick listing. I need to change directories into that Magenta folder. And now what we can do is, on this page, the getting started uh, uh, help page, um, preparing the build environment on Ubuntu, this should obtain the necessary prerequisites. Now, I'm sure that I already have all this stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and just copy it so I don't make, you know, schmuck myself on the video. Um, yes, and... Um, Okay, so everything is, that was very quick. I have everything that I need because I've done development, of course, before on this machine. So next step is uh, I'm going to download the existing uh, tool chains. If you're developing on Linux or OS X, uh, the pre-built tool, tool chain binaries are available. <clears throat> so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go through and build a whole lot of things if there's absolutely no point in it. The only reason, the only thing that it would do is waste a bunch of time. So... I'm going to enter this. We're going to download everything. Um, not sure. I have no idea how long this is going to take. It shouldn't take very long. And so while, while that's wrapping up, um, we're installing the existing tool chains. So the next step, building tool chains, which is optional, we don't have to do that. We can skip right over it. Um, the next step we're going to go through is building. We're going to actually, well, we're going to clone a copy of Quick Emulator. And what that will allow us to do is run this kernel without rebooting. We don't have to put it on a flash drive and actually boot into it. Um, so, um, and we are done. So good. Um, everything looks like it, it finished successfully. Um, I don't see any red text. So, um, everything is as well so the next thing to do is and i don't need to change directory in the source because i'm already in that directory um i am going to do a clone of quick emulator paste this in it's going to create a new directory called qemu And as soon as that downloads, I'm going to change directory into Quick Emulator and get a copy of the Fuchsia operating system. Okay, so the next thing to do is to make um, everything we need to build. Let's do an installation. And because we have used the built-in uh, tools, the tool chain, we did not have to export a path. So, so now I'm going to build Magenta um, for the x86 64-bit platform. Okay, there we go.
Okay. The last thing that we can do is paste in this last command, and this will run Magenta, the new Fuchsia kernel from, from Google. And it will do so on the command line you in Quick Emulator. So we are booting now. Now we have a command uh, command prompt. So the first thing, and I nobody told me this, I just tried. So H-E-L-P, and we get a list here of things that we can do. We can change the directory, copy a file, display a file in hex decimal, print, uh, print arguments uh, via echo. Not a whole lot going on here until you see the run test, run all test programs. And that's what I want to do. Just see if everything's running well. Run tests. No red text, everything says all test cases passed, zero failed, zero failed. This is what I like. We ran 34 tests and none of them failed. Um, unfortunately, that, that's really the only thing that this, uh, this kernel will do at the moment. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.